Good morning, everybody. This is Mike at Fouch Fabs. Um, I, I don't know how good the view is on this head cam, so I'll try to do the best I can. I might take it off and hold it in my hand, but uh, y'all can do that. It ain't working right now. So uh, this job here, um, it's a big job. We've got a we've got full height backsplash going on afterwards. Uh, the material is river blue very very pretty material it's it's really gonna look good in here uh with the cabinets and the walls uh, but uh it's gonna be a little bit of a job to get it done um i've had a problem with my sales and office people explaining the process of full height backsplash when they sell a job because it, it's a two-step process and it, it's normally we well, do the install and then a week later we install the full height and the reason being is because you can't get a perfect size on that full height without um, having this off and our tops on. Level plays into it. Um, the thickness of this stone here and the, the wood underneath plays into it. Um, and so you just never know. Um, so if you template it like it is now, which is what she did, um, you've got a lot of fabrication and modification on the job site which takes a lot of time. And sometimes you can end up being too short or something if this material is thicker and then you're just screwed. Um, so I wanted to do this as kind of a document um, on the reason why full height needs to be done in two trips for my office people and to help the customers understand uh, the why of it. So uh, we got a tear out ahead of us. So I'm gonna get started on it and I'll touch base with you guys in between. Probably be a, a little bit of a long video. Uh, I'll try to keep it as short as I can. Um, but uh, there's gonna be a lot to show. So it'll probably take some time. But as always guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy it. And if you have any questions, just put it down in the comments. I'll see you in a minute. Uh, here in a second. So we worked on the island separating. Um, you never know what tile. If you're gonna have to pull off every single single tile, then pull off the uh, hardy board underneath, or if you can shim up the uh, whole piece of wood, um, which is what we got lucky and were able to do. Now, just because we did the island this way doesn't necessarily mean this one's gonna be this way, and we're gonna have to knock every piece of tile off the wall. So. Uh, definitely not gonna be as easy as the island but I just wanted to show you guys how we did that I just got one thing to say screws look at all these screws well, that is some major screws see all these holes up here in it guess what was that I'll give you one guess and it's not nails Screws. <laughs> I don't know why there's that many. Just never know what you're going to run into when you start tearing stuff out. Alright, guys, we finally got the tear out uh, part done, other than the mic on that wall, which I'll go get. Um, I think we got here what around 11 30 so probably two hours two and a half hours somewhere around there to do the tear out and now we're going to clean up we always clean up everything from the tear out floor and everything and uh keeps us from messing up customers floor stepping off straps or anything Let's clean up stuff in the cabinets because it's a lot easier to clean it out before you put tops in than afterwards and then we'll start with the install and i'll show you that as we go all right guys, at this point, we have got the tops carried in. I've got the island squared up. Got the perimeter leveled up. And I have got the Gorilla Grips on the seam. And getting it set. Sammy's in the bathroom pulling up the sink. And we're rocking and rolling. I'm getting the heck out of here. I'm not gonna stop you. Frustrated and I'm getting tired. 
because now it is 16 after 6 and we are starting to work on fabricating and modifying all the full height and I'm getting ready to cut it off right here so that I can make it work um, so I'll touch back with you there you go here cut it so what we did, we got this piece in on the full height here. And so now we gotta put this template in. And as you can see, it's not gonna fit. So now I've got to make it, cut it, minus the stone so that it'll go in there properly. And because we're doing it all in one day, I have to do it and go out there and then I gotta cut the stone and then bring it in and put it in. So it's like I'm doing everything a couple times, so anyway, I just wanted people to see and understand this part. I'll try to keep filming, but it's getting late, so, but anyways, I'll get you back in just a second. All right, guys, it is now 8.30. I do have all the full height in place, But I still gotta drop my cooktop, drill my faucet hole, polish the seam area. Still got a lot of work to do, so uh, it's been a process. But I just wanna show you guys where I was at. All right, it's 10, 18. I think this video started here about 11.30. We have finally got the job done. Um, Full height in, caulked out. It's been a long night, and that, that's the main reason that the full height needs to be a uh, two day uh, install. Luckily, on this job, we've got some really cool homeowners. Um, they've been nice to us the whole time. They hadn't got upset because we're here after 10 o'clock. Um, so, that, that makes a huge difference. But, you know, just for my office people and for future customers that watch this just understand that the full high backsplash is a long process countertops themselves perimeters are a long process if you want it done right um, you know you put the seams in that there's the seam right over there um, it turned out really nice of course we got the seam on the backsplash right there i mean you can have people come in and slap it down on here and not really care and do it super fast but if you want things done right you need to take your time and once people get tired and the nights go on they don't do their best work um, so when you're sitting in the office it's easy to say yeah we can do it when you're sitting at home watching tv eating doritos when i'm out here till 10 o'clock but uh this is the job it looks good uh that was for Gary. He edits the video. <laughs> yeah. This is the bathroom. Turned out really nice too. Um, so, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. We're getting ready to wrap it up. We got about a 35-minute drive home, but as always, I appreciate y'all watching, and I'll see you next time.